Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be reading another um, book I typed. Um, it, the series name is called The Secrets of Moon Clan, and this book is called The Secret Can. And so today, my mm -hmm. sister will be joining me. Hello. And then, um, yeah, and then she's going to read the back cover, and I'm going to read the prologue today. So, exciting. So this is the picture I found on the web. This is supposed to be Frost Moon. And this is book one. The secrets of the past are hidden where no leopard dares to go, and Frost Moon is determined to find out about her past. She was told that she had no siblings, but Frost Moon knows that everyone is wary around her. She was born frail and weak, unable to care for herself. Frost Moon is annoyed by how everyone treats her, like she is a helpless kid. When she becomes an apprentice, and then finally a protector, she is chosen... Finally, a queen. Sorry. A queen. You can start from this part. Do And then finally, a queen. She is chosen by Sky Moon as her deputy. No leopard would actually believe that, um, born such a small and tiny kit, Frost Moon would become a leader one day. Sky Moon is a he. Okay. Um, but when he does. But when she well, does. But when she does, she receives a prophecy from Sc Shattered, Shattered Clan, Clan, the Clan of the Sky. She means Rain Shatter, Sleet Shatter, and River Shatter, the leader, deputy, and healer of Shatter Clan. They tell her that there is a secret she must uncover, and there won't be peace until it is solved. Frost Moon expects it to be hard, but she never realized that she was so close, yet so far at the same time. So this is a picture, it's a moon. Okay, so I'm gonna read the prologue. Prologue. The blue shadows fell upon the pine trees that fringed the outer camp. Swift moon, you shouldn't stay outside too long. You're expecting kits, her mate, Raven Moon, whispered to her, nuzzling her soft light blue pelt with his. A howl came from inside the camp, and Raven Moon looked at her with sparkle with sparkling blue eyes, then walked into the camp. All he lepers had to take a test to stay within the camp, and today was Raven Moon's test day. Swift Moon felt her heart lurch. If Raven Moon couldn't pass his test, he couldn't stay in the clan. And he certainly won't be going to Dust Clan or Bramble Clan or any other clan. That's too dangerous. Not that they'll accept a Moon Clan protector. She slowly walked back into the Queen's den. Gem Moon, another she leopard, was resting on the nest of moss the apprentices had fetched. Gem Moon, another she... Gem Moon raised her head to look at Swift Moon. I hear it's Raven Moon's day, isn't it? She asked, scraping her paw at the grassy ground. Swift Moon nodded, blinking her purple blue eyes at the frosty furred leopard. Gem Moon purred softly, then turned her back to her as Lizard Moon, under the she leopard, started Gem Moon how reckless R Sky Moon, the Moon Clan leader, was. You should have attacked Dust Clan days ago for stealing our prey, Lizard Moon hissed. Lizard Moon was a queen giving birth, but she hadn't lost any of her aggressiveness. Gem Moon touched her light blue gem pendant with a half moon on it. The light blue gem represented her name, and the half moon meant that she was a queen or a protector. Lizard Moon clearly didn't pay attention. Lizard Moon didn't pay attention, clearly forgetting that Sky Moon was Gem Moon's mate. Suddenly, Pine Moon, a protector, rushed into the er, den. Lizard Moon snorted, a way of showing that she was annoyed. Protectors should stay in the protector's den, not invade the queen's den, she muttered, turning her back towards Pine Moon and Swift Moon. Swift Moon, Sky Moon wants to talk to you, he growled, clearly angered by what Lizard Moon had said. Swift Moon nodded and slowly got up, then followed Pine Moon out of the den. He escorted her into the leader's room, then dipped his head and left. Swift Moon took a deep breath. Why did you want me to come, she asked. Sky Moon looked at her with clear blue eyes. Sighing. <sighs> I'm afraid I have bad news, he said, getting up and stretching his legs. Sky Mo Swift Moon flinched, but managed to stay still. What is it? she asked. What happened? Sky Moon turned away from her, staring at the rocky wall of his den. Resting his paws on the soft moss that lined his nest, he met her gaze. It's about Raven Moon, he hesitated. He didn't pass the test. Swift Moon froze. 
That's not possible. The ferns covering the entrance of the leader's den rustled as Boulder Moon, the Moon Clan deputy, appeared with Raven Moon at his side. Boulder Moon looked at Swift Moon with bright blue eyes, sympathy filling them. He looked at Sky Moon, at, then at Raven Moon. Her mate was shuffling his paws. Uncertainty filled his eyes. He took a quick glance at Swift Moon, then looked away, staring at the red, yellow, and blue flowers growing on a long, twisty vine that crawled along the wall of the Eden. Sky Moon looked at Raven Moon. By the traditions of Moon Clan, you must be banished. You didn't complete the test, he said. Raven Moon nodded. I know, he answered simply. Swift Moon's heart lurched. We haven't even had kits yet. Suddenly, a spasm hit her, whirling images around her head. What's happening? Sky Moon looked at her with worry. Is something wrong? He asked, taking a step closer to her. Swift Moon wanted to scream. Does it look like it? But another spasm had her falling to the ground, darkness floating into her mind. A few moments later, she saw another leopard come join her. She had soft white fur with a hint of light blue and green mixed in. The she leopard smiled. She walking towards Swift Moon. Who are you? Where am I? Swift Moon asked, hissing. The she leopard growled softly. I'm Mint Shatter of Shatter Clan. You're in the sky right now, she answered calmly, not taking her icy green eyes off Swift Moon. Swift Moon gasped. Am I dead? she asked. Mint Shatter shook her head. You're just unconscious. You'll wake up in a few minutes. She paused. I'm sent by Rain Shatter, our leader, to tell you something. Don't let Sky Moon banish Raven Moon. He is special. A protector he is. He needs to learn the consequences there are when you don't practice as well as an apprentice. Swift Moon nodded. I'll try to persuade Sky Moon, but I don't know if it'll work or not, she said. Mint Chatter nodded, then disappeared into thin air. A few seconds passed. Then Swift Moon opened her eyes. She was in the... He she was in the healer's den. She could hear Raven Moon, Sky Moon, and Boulder Moon talking anxiously outside the den. Shadow Moon, the... Shadow Moon, the healer, appeared through the tangle of ivy. Behind her was her apprentice, Birch Moon. He was holding a moss drenched with water. Swift Moon sends Shadow Moon beside her. How do you feel right now? She asked. Nothing more than a whisper. Swift Moon coughed. I'm fine, she said weakly. Birch Moon patted for her. You're expecting kiss, she said, he said, dripping some of the water from the moss into Swift Moon's open jaw. Like I didn't notice already. She was about to spit an insult when another spasm hit her, sending her paws flailing around and trying to catch her breath. Shadow Moon pressed a paw against her forehead. Not a fever, she murmured, flicking her tail. Birch Moon, go get me three juniper berries. Not those purple over, those purplish red ones. Not the blood berries, she ordered. Birch Moon nodded, padding away into the medicine storage. Shadow Moon leaned close to Swift Moon. Uh, s s whispering a sentence Swift Moon didn't understand at all. Swift Moon became drowsy, slowly sinking into a deep sleep. A familiar scent filled S Swift Moon's snout. Is it you again? she asked. A shadow answered her. It is me, Swift Moon, the sweet voice of Mint Shatter replied, her shape appearing in front of Swift Moon. Why am I here again? The cream colored she asked, feeling for the pendant on her neck. Mint Shatter's only response was to purr, then disappear. Swift Moon let out an irritated snort. Why can't anyone give me answers? she asked herself, letting darkness take over again. Once she woke up, she felt two soft bundles of fur against her belly. Congratulations, you've birthed kits. Two she cats, Birch Moon announced, a glimmer in her soft blue eyes. Raven Moon was standing beside her, Sky Moon placing a paw on him. You've proven yourself worthy to stand in this clan, Sky Moon said finally. So even though you didn't pass the assignment, you can still stay in this clan. Swift Moon let out a sigh of relief. She didn't nuzzled her two kits closer to her. One of them was a tough-looking kit. Its pendant on its neck was a full moon representing that she was still a kit, and a star. She will be Star Moon. The other one was less appealing. She was small and thin, frailer than a mouse. Swift Moon paused at, to think. Is it okay if this kit never knows that Star Moon, the tough-looking one, is her sister? I'm afraid that Star Moon will detest her, knowing that she is so weak. Sky Moon thought for a moment, then nodded. I'll ask Gem Moon if she's okay with her to do adopt this kit. Swift Moon nodded. Sadly, her name will be Frost, would be Frostmoon because of the tiny snowflakes on her pendant. She'll be Frostmoon, leader one day, Swiftmoon whispered unexpectedly. Skymoon cocked his head. What did you say? Swiftmoon, her eyes clouded in a trance, repeated with a what a mysterious voice in her head had said. Her name is Frostmoon, leader of Moon Clan. So that's the end of my prologue. I'll read chapter one next time. Well, no, not chapter one because um I'm not finished with it, but I'll read chapter one when I'm done with it. Okay, see you next time. Bye.